Hi, Frankers. Happy birthday. Having fun today? Hey, everybody. Frankers is for happy birthday, Frankers. For the nice girl. Hey. What do you think about being four? You slow down a little? Okay, we're at uh, one of the more uh, obvious jobs, but I think one of the most difficult jobs on these cars these uh, external hinge cars is getting the doors to open nice fit nice and not bind and swing you know freely and you know just to be good the doors three hinges so all one center line and you've got everything has happened to these hinges they're bent they're twisted uh, in this case they're broken and you, know, you got wear on the latch wear on everything you got the car body has been kicked around Everything is conspiring to make the doors fit poorly and not work. So it ain't gonna work? No, I'm just kidding. We'll try and fix it. This is the passenger side. Front door, I was gonna say, but it is. It's the door. It's in beautiful condition. It was sagged, quite saggy, and when you push the trigger, it would pop open about 30 degrees, and the middle hinge it's actually broken off from the stress of being so out of alignment. Uh, anyhow, it still opened and closed, mostly thanks to the little guy here that would kind of uh, help it up. Nevertheless, overall excellent. Uh, two bent hinges, one broken one. The replacement hinges are an unknown quantity. It looks like they would work. I kind of feel like trying to make it work with just replacing the part that's broken. So, I don't know, let's have some fun. So, I ordered these, uh, or just one of these replacement hinges, just to see, and actually looks fairly presentable, but not the same, because it doesn't have the little multiple slots cut in it. And on the original, this little hooded piece is uh, a piece of sheet metal that's pinched over top of the uh, gate hinge. So this is a functional, certainly a very functional and very reasonably priced, but um, it's not like a drop in. Like there's enough work to make this fit because it's generic. You can put it anywhere. And again, very presentable. If you didn't know any better, that's that's perfectly good. But since we're trying to really use as much of the original car as we can. I'm going to take the inside out of this and I'm going to try to notch it like this so that it'll fit over to the original or fit in between the original and then we'll uh, come we'll cut it to length after and then finally when it all fits nice we'll drill holes and then we'll line it up with here and then I mean this is a fairly involved process since really everything is just like kind of uh... first job in this process is so I'm just ignoring this completely. To get the top and bottom one, get your top and bottom one aligned, right? There. You can see that I don't see the sides of either of the holes here. We're basically going to cut this to fit, make this work so that when you open the door, this center line center line of this should not move as the door swings open even without this part in it the center line should be exactly on center with these guys then you put it together and then the other thing we do when you're done you shim the body if you pull the body down at the front this leans forward and the door comes up at the back gap gets bigger here gets tighter there you know all this happens with just a shim down there so really um, right now what we want is basically I just want the hinges to uh, swing smoothly uh, like Glenn Miller they'll swing like Glenn Miller wow that's a great one grandpa Glenn Miller jokes hey why does no young people watch your show 
Yeah, anyway, fuck. It's going to take all day. No, it ain't. First thing, next thing, we got to get the middle guy to swing with these guys. Then we will start on this. Okay, very light toss in the door. And, you know, this is just temporarily pinned, but just giving us the idea. Temporarily pinned, but, you know, that's tight. And, uh, well, it's still a little low at the back, but I'm uh, not going to get too worried about that as long as we can move the whole cowl, move the whole A post this way because we're really tight here already. So there's really nowhere to go here. The only, only thing we can do is go back here. Very little bit, less than an eighth of an inch. So I'm not gonna get too worried about it. that's all it's hardly it's hardly worth worrying about, but you know, if we're there. So all that really tells us is that we can start trying to think about this middle hinge now. So uh, it was really you can see at one point there's been some adventures there so not getting too fancy just want it to work nice so I'm gonna straighten out the hinge was yeah it was way back here and you couldn't you couldn't even see the center line of these other two holes because this one was like it wasn't like half a hole off it was like completely missing so going away towards explaining uh, the broken hinge and the nail and this one at the bottom and uh, anyway we're getting there it uh, it's still an exceptionally good door it just it must have been swung open backwards at least once in the wind after the straps broke and that bends the hinges and then it throws the whole thing out okay so just temporarily pinned and opening and you can see more or less the center line is uh, staying still. So that means that we are, you know, we are within fine tuning distance if we install it there. So if I open the door and see that the screws are roughly there, if they are not, then we have a problem. So it looks like the hinge is a little bit further out than I would like. If we put the hinge kind of where it wants to be, not bad but it does move a tiny bit well we'll see if we can cheat it let's see if we can get it split the difference we can also tweak these ones a little tiny bit and uh, then we still have to make it fit nice okay I'm gonna install it well, I pulled the hinge again and bent this one to we hope match I don't know it was close when it was on the car, but of course I can't actually, you know, fit them together yet. So I'm just going to carve it up with a grinder and vial. And if any of you guys have ever seen the click spring on YouTube here, it'll be, it'll be absolutely nothing like that. The camera work on the other hand just getting better and better. Okay, there's our first light toss with you know, a second from yelling. Right, here's the first light toss of the new hinge, or the repaired hinge. You can see it snuck it in there. And now, now it's time to mark where we're going to drill it. Great. Well, she's no work of art, but it does work. So there you go. Work it is. Art is not. Just going to give her the old... Wow, this thing's really great. 
able to swing the door full 90 degrees without any springiness or binding so it doesn't mean that there's not room for fine adjustment but this will get it functioning and then we can tweak it all with uh, you know large crescent wrench usually you can get your last little bit of so now that we know everything's roughly close, we'll install the hinges and then we'll tune the hinges on the car to each other, then we'll tune the hinges on the door to each other, and then we'll throw it all on there for the second light toss. Which, going by how well this one's going, shouldn't be too big of a problem. Ever so slightly low. Maybe not as much as I thought. I'd rather have it close a little tighter really at this point. It actually fits quite well. I thought that it was down, but it's it's down so little that I wouldn't really worry about it. So that's great news. Let's see if we can get this. This will be most of the day on this uh, making this door work. So. beautiful thing I've ever done but that yeah. let's try it all right I can't be too disappointed with that I think it fits really well and uh, swings smoothly through the entire arc swing full 90 degrees so can't really be bothered and no tight spots no nothing really to worry about hey we're taking a little break today uh angus is here uh from stumpy's yoga studio and he's got a 76 77 chrysler newport two-door coupe which you never see and he was short a wheel cover, which I happen to have, so he's come and he's trading me like 10 for 1, so I really can't argue with that. Let's have a looky. What a sweet pea. There's the, uh, you said 77, yeah, sir? 77. Nice. Second last year. And a coupe yet. Don't see that every day. So he's, uh, made me an offer I couldn't refuse, trading me, like, six wheel covers for two, and... A classic tire for the classic tire pile. It's a Firestone 500 in a inch and a it's like an inch and a quarter white wall, maybe a one inch white wall. Cool. That's uh, probably mid to late 60s. 15, 8, 15, 15. Another classic tire. What are these? Like mid 60s? Yeah, these would be 65 60. Chrysler, full size C body. Right. Right and I'm not entirely sure about that one, but the ones underneath are the same deal. Or oh, then the other ones underneath are the those are like 80 Valari. Yeah. Yeah, Valari. Yeah. I can't get rid of those. <laughs> yeah. Well, it took a couple of hours to have some beers, but we did find and get that hubcap on there. Let's have a look. Oh, yeah. Angus, thanks for stopping by, buddy. Thanks. Stop Yoga Studio. <laughs> thanks, what are you man. doing? A 64? 64, 64 New Yorker 64 two-door hardtop. New Yorker. Pretty Perfect. epic rebuild. Okay, thanks a lot, guys. Cheers, buddy. Thanks, thanks. for stopping by. You betcha, sir. It's a lovely day, and uh, I got uh, about an hour to kill, so I'm going to go pick up my friend Richard, and we're going to go visit our friend Andre, who's having a, an auction. Uh, he's retiring, and Andre has been collecting cars for many years, so since everything's online nowadays, we have to go look ahead of time. So uh, <coughs> Richard and Andre have known each other for many years, and so I'm going to pick Richard up, and we're going to go wander around. Andre, is, uh, he has very interesting taste in cars. 
We're here with Richard and we're going to preview Andre's auction. Oh, right at the end here, I want to look at this one. Wow, this is good. Oh, yeah. This one's really nice. Yeah, that's a nice... This will get real money, though. Probably not from you, though. Not from me, no. <laughs> and big ugly van. Brought the DS today. It's not really happy. It's a bit of a heat wave, eh, Richard? What's the temperature today? It's like 35 above. I we'll hope it's not boiling the gas while we sit here. <laughs> My Renault vapor locked on me on the weekend. Oh, yeah. So I left it there, came back two hours later, started on half a turn. Volkswagen. Looks pretty nice, actually. Oh, he, I don't know. Well, you brought me here years ago. That's the only other time I've been here was with you. So I thought we should go back. Now, there's an Edsel. We're fixing up one of these for my buddy Dean right now. Ooh, that was pretty rough, eh? Pretty rough. Ranger. Yeah. That's not my kind of none of this stuff here. Oh dear, look at it. Oh no. That's a convertible. That's 1963. 63 what do they call them? DeVille convertible? This is 1961 or two. It's got fins, top, and bottom. That's a nice, that's Coupe de Ville. Pretty floor condition. Who saws the fins off? What the heck? That's too bad. These are cool cars. That would have to be pretty inexpensive. Looks like Andre was still finding them in fields when he was right. Yeah, it's just like, just like you. Just like me, yeah. <laughs> this one's I also 1963. He likes he like convertibles. Yeah, and he likes Cadillacs. Yeah. Look at this whole row of Cadillacs here. Wow, it just keeps going. Wow, another convert. This one's 61 or 2. This one. Looks like he was half finished this one. Same year as that. Yeah, I kind of like these earlier ones. I think this one's 1957, if I had to guess. It's 56 or 7. But the one I really like is this one. This? Well, it's a limousine. That's a pretty rare car. Looks like she's a bit of a fixer-upper. Oh, hey, whoa, is that ever wrong? Fleetwood. Yeah, that was the top of the line car. But that would cost you $200,000. This one I like, 1964. Country Squire. Fantastic. That's a 352. Yeah, good engine. Oh, I like this one a lot. This is about 19. 49 or 50? Oh, there it says 49. That's a man. Yeah, and it's got...
<laughs> Somebody made that one up, eh? Oh dear, looks like it's coming apart at the seams. Not, uh, not exactly perfect. Was it a wagon? No. Did they start with a? They started with a hard side. <clears throat> Just kind of never finished. Not well, like this that. is like uh, the one I had. Look at that mirror. Have you ever seen anything like that? Look at this mirror. What the hell is that off? It looks like it's off of a Lincoln or something. 220 SE. Oh, fuel injected. Okay. You might be interested in this one. No. For parts. I mean, if it goes for a few hundred bucks. This is probably about 1964. 220 SE. Column shift, four speed, fuel injected. So probably come from the States. American car, vote very likely. We all got carbureted ones here. This one I like. This is a 300 S, I think. This is a very special car. I bet you there's not 10 of these in the country. She's pretty tired, though. That's cool. This one I would really like, but... I'm afraid there's just too much missing. It'd be very hard to put this back together. That's really cool. Probably 55 or so. 300. Chevy four door, whatever. This one's 1951 Chevy. What the world is this? This is a Packard. 1949 or so. <laughs> Not the prettiest car, is it? I bet you this one's parts for the one beside it. Wow, look at this. Holy oh, man. This is very cool. Oh, it comes with its own spider museum, Richard. Holy cow, was this ever sitting around, eh? Ooh. Look at that. Holy. That's really cool. That's going to be a gigantic restoration, though. I hope somebody fixes it. I won't live long enough. What do you think of this one, Richard? I like this one. That's a wagon, 1959. Don't think I've ever seen one. I've seen most cars, but I've never seen a 59 Edsel wagon. That's a savable car. This must be the parts for the wagon. This is pretty rough. 59 sedan, just about broken in half. I like the Buick wagon. Buick Special, probably about 1955. Farm trucks. Andre sure like these Jeeps, eh? He has. This was the one I was going to look at. Oh, this is worse than mine. I thought if it wasn't rusty, but it's it's more than a little rusty. Andre loved these, eh? Loves the Jeepsters. All the Jeepster fans will be checking this out. Look at that. Yeah, they're mostly just for parts. Yeah, I think so. Because he has some nice ones, right? Well, this one's not bad. That could be saved easily.
bits and pieces though, mostly. You had your D out this year, Richard? What's that? Had your DS out this year? No. No? Not yet? No, I have to... You got a little repair to do? Yeah, the antifreeze leak. Oh, right, yeah. Oh, that's two the same. Yeah, this one looks a little newer than the other one, but I don't know. They look very similar, don't they? Oh, I really like this one. I like the station wagon one. Panel truck. That's cool. Looks like she's a bit kicked around, though. That would be that would be a fun one to restore. Or this one. This one's better. This one's in better shape. Look at the tow bar on that. Wow. Yeah, that's pretty decent. Calmar. That's about 1950, early 50s Dodge. That's a nice, that's just untouched, eh? Just the way it was put together. Look at the farmer's name, hand lettered on there with a paintbrush. Beautifully done. Look at how nicely done that was. Drop shadows, pinstripes. Very nice. And sign, back when sign painters could make a living, eh? Yeah, yeah, yeah. International fire, fire trucks. And GMT fire truck. Holy cow, another fire truck. Very nice. Dan, this is the one Dan wanted me to take pictures of. Oh, look at that. U.S. Navy. <laughs> hey? U.S. Navy. Well, these uh, power wagons are quite rare and valuable now. But I think this must have been a <laughs> this one must have been parts. Holy cow! That's rough, eh? 1941 Chevy, probably. Maybe, maybe 40, 41 ish. Yeah. Oh, look at this, General Motors. That one's really quite nice. This is right off the farm, too, with the grain box on it. That's really cool. The tow truck's not bad. That's what Dean should have. Man, this stuff's all pretty rough, though. And the rest of it's just bits and pieces. Like the old international. Oh, and a car trailer. Look at the, uh, look at the jeep for his mirrors, huh? Yeah, hey, <laughs> all right into the cab, yeah. Must have had, probably had big round bales on it at one time. It yeah. says hay and straw. I like get looking at all the old lettering. Where are we at? It's well, beer time. Yeah, that's a two beer job, cleaning the inside of all these fenders and shit. So, they, uh, they look a lot better. So what do we got tonight? We got what? Fenders? More, sh more shit work. Shit work. Front fenders, uh, both sides, come out quite well considering that they're kind of scrap. Um, so I've really just beat them roughly into shape, I'm not trying to fix them, they're just too, you know, when they, Pretty when they look like that, you're, you're really not gonna. This is, this is my favorite, this little corner right here. Oh yeah, we yeah. found, we you cleaned gotta, up you the show best the part, yeah, 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 so we tidied that up and straightened it up a bit, it's probably my favorite part of the car right now. That what is, do you uh, think, it's a tin sign? I think it's a, a sign or a different sign, but. Uh, it, well, given that the battery tray and the sun visor look very similar, I would say that that's <laughs> what it is. And uh, it's funny because whatever sign they cut off would be worth way more than the battery. <laughs> <laughs> right. Yeah. yeah so uh, anyway, you can see some more of the real heavy-duty 
iron work in here. Yeah, so. I love all this. Oh yeah, right? yeah, it's cool. <laughs> but you're, there's zero point in trying to make that nice. So we're just leaving all of the blacksmith kind of farmer kind of industrial repairs there. This looks, you know, I think it's probably done in the 30s or early 40s. Like some lean times when somebody's fixing that. Or maybe some kid's first car, who knows. Yeah, I think we can say safely that all of this was done with the fenders on the car. So all I've done here is, is bring this back out, right? Because that was all kinked in. Mm -hmm. So that is actually a repair. That's the, the original part of the fender is gone completely there. And here's the other repair and there. It looks like there's a, a third repair of a repair. So that's, but you know, it actually sits a little better now. Like it's a little more, it's a little more square than it was. So, uh, you know, I, I wanted to have all this. I just thought it would be nice if it was a little more fender shaped. It was all caved in here. So I kind of straightened that out, straightened that out a bit. Not much, just enough so it'll sit on the car. We fixed all the all the flanges where everything bolts together. Most of that was pretty badly damaged, so we've kind of just straightened that out. And these guys, ready to paint the inside. They actually come out very well. So just finishing touches, paint the inside of these. Really, pretty just, nice night for it. No, it's a perfect night. Perfect yeah. night for kind of some shit work and some beers. Yeah, 100%. <sighs> um, yeah, okay. Yeah, it's really good. That's really fun. This is actually <laughs> exactly. looks a little it's too fun. nice. Yeah. And it's just, it just lays down so nice. Oh. You can't. Well, that'll really show off the nice repairs. Oh, that's fun. Right on. Yeah. Oh, I thought this was going to be kind of a pain. Yeah. No, it's very enjoyable. Oh, good. Well, it is enjoyable when you have a deadline, like whatever it looks like today, that's today. what's going on, right? Oh, okay, right. well, I'm going to do mine here. <laughs> oh, Brush might be a little much for this job. What's that? Is it quality of paint or what? No, this. Oh, the brush, brush yeah, is a little huge. too big for everything. Yeah. yeah. Too big for the job and too big for the can. And the only brush we have. Oh, this is going to be really nice. Really? Doesn't, isn't it nice paint? It I'm going to take a picture of it. I recognize the brand. It also means there's enough here to do nine of these like fenders. Yeah. No, you're right. And I want to go back and do the other parts again. <laughs> Not that we're gonna. I was gonna say. <laughs> this just looks so nice. It does. Yeah. yeah. Uh oh, we don't want this. Uh, yeah, that's what I was just going to say. It's probably bleeding through super easy. So we'll have to. Yeah. Flip them all. We'll get a rag. so it's not an obvious trip. Good news is it's going to be great in the seams. Okay, time to paint Dean's air cleaner for the Edsel. Look at that guy. He's got her all prepped up. Uh, the color is very close to the uh, oyster white on the roof of my... Uh, on the roof of the Fury. So that's what we're going to use. And I have just enough left. So that's fun. Keep the budget to zero. There we go. That looks uh, pretty decent. Kind of a creamy white like we were looking for. Uh, good enough. Very soon we'll be painting all the rims for the Edsel. 
Uh, Dean came out last night and did a, just a terrific job of prepping them. They look really good. So those are going to turn out nice. And then we're not too far away from uh, putting some tires on there. I'd like to be test driving the Edsel within the next couple of weeks. Still we'll need to get farmed out for exhaust and stuff. I don't really get anything out of doing that. So we'll, uh, we'll farm the exhaust out. But I think that there's a very good chance we'll be test driving the car within weeks here. Not really the case with the T or with the Continental, but uh, still holding out hope that those will actually come true. I, I feel like I should put it like a quarter in here. I need, like, right? Yeah. I mean, you got to pay to be on this ride. Yeah, I got to drive. My psychiatrist says it will be good for us. <laughs> we'll turn this into a retract. <laughs> it's almost like Edmonton Katie. I know. That you mean, push the lever out, the right monkey there. jumps out. <laughs> oh, a little here's the lens for the car. Oh, everything. Well, don't, it's filming. <laughs> oh, don't put, put that in there. Don't put that in there. What are we weak fucking? Week whatever, I don't even know what. <laughs> okay, oh, team Edsel. Like is this the whole nine. team? Yeah, God damn, like Frankers wants in, but you know, yeah, can't. she can't come in. Sorry, Frankers. Frankers. We've been following this French clown for six months. <laughs> yeah. Jesus Christ. Oh, she's coming together. Look at how Look nice at all that is coming out. Really, really, really nice. I was hey, never I, really an Edsel fan before, but oh, now I could wow. see myself cruising one of these. Uh, it's just like love these. It's an Edsel, but. It could be his Pontiac. It wouldn't really matter to me. It's right. a 50s yeah. American card. It's sure. a kind of a base four-door. Sure. It's very drivable. It's very usable. <laughs> yeah, but it's an Edsel Ranger. It's the best. Yeah, well, if, if you think that that means... Does, that, does that mean wait, something special? Wait till the hood's back on. It's going to look great. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. You're excited. So are you going to polish that hood, Dean? Okay, but I'll probably burn through. <laughs> Don't put that in the video. Come on. <laughs> we'll get a it A couple going. years left here, so... A couple years of working on the Edsel. <laughs> we better a couple of weeks. Oh, Dave's letting the smoke out. <laughs> the fuck, Dave? Close the vent window. Where's what the hell? <laughs> he just loves vent windows so much. <laughs> just, uh, that yeah, is yeah, one of the coolest have to use vent them. windows. You always have I to love use the them. big backwards vent windows. Yeah, it's like a button. Shining like know? a diamond, like a diamond <laughs> jubilee. Yeah, man. <laughs> <laughs> right. <laughs> Don't encourage him. What a ridiculous car. <laughs> We have a little bit of brake pedal for the first time. Wow, bad so that's time. exciting. Yeah, Actually, we have a pretty good pedal. You pedal can drive pedal. it. Yeah. It could, it'll get better because we just threw it together. But we've got really presentable, actually, presentable pedal, I guess. The car is bringing us together, man. We're having fun. We're it's bringing to, us we're together. We're heading to Toronto to get some jobs. You think vanity, plaid, uh, poodles, we all got together yeah. for pedal. Yeah. For one thing, I'm not going to drive it very much. Uh, and say, you know, you're not going to oh. drive it much. No. What do you Why? mean? Are you kidding? Then let me. I drove from all the way to Moncton. <laughs> <laughs> well, once in a while, I might. Do well, this now. fucking drive it when you come over here. Other than that, don't drive it. I don't care if you never drive it. Just don't I, ever pull I into my yard. That, you that fucking shit box Hyundai <laughs> oh, ever I, again. I just got that thing back. I just got it back. I Yay! Like, the Hyundai's <laughs> back. <laughs> like my boyfriend's the back. Moment, the best Except for Dean, it's my Hyundai's back. Best, it's, it's, if this is a cartoon. Uh, my shadow <laughs> would have its hands around your fucking shadow's throat. That's right, well, And your shadow's right. tongue would be sticking way out. <laughs> we're yeah, fucking actors here. What are you doing doing Why don't this? Why don't you make some, some more noise with yeah. the bubble wrap? He's over here popping <laughs> bubble wrap. Jesus. I'm trying to film the show. <laughs> such as it is. Yeah, and he's over here like, getting freaky with the bubble wrap. <laughs> what, the, what the this fuck? This fucking set needs more cowbell. We
<laughs> I'm gonna try one of these. Wow. And today's game is like you try this, and then you get to pick the matches, and then you get to pick a cigarette, and you get to pick matches. All right. Oh. I'm picking camels with these number five things. Today's classic dart. Wow. Uh, anybody want to translate that for us? Oh fuck it. It's not time like present. All right, here we go. Oh, oh you guys. <laughs> this is how you light them in Greece. This is nice. Oh, Whoa! Those <laughs> hit me, you guys. That's fine. Whoa! You just hit me. Wow, man. Wow. Oh. <laughs> Fuck when you need a dart, you need a dart. Oh my god. Oh. Nice. You know. <laughs> the rings are going. Wow. Oh, dude, you're lining them up perfect with the poster. That's so <laughs> okay. Do. Can you do that? Like in slow motion. <laughs> Interview yeah. him about what? Uh, interview Alex. You can't interview Alex. Alex. He's never answered his question in his life. <laughs> are you Alex? <laughs> oh. Allegedly. <laughs> I don't remember. Somebody, for, it's like made for architects. Of what? Like a Soviet fucking housing block or what? <laughs> mm -hmm. <laughs> Picture that in gray concrete. Just, Dude, this yeah, was like yeah. a thank you. For building a certain fucking nuclear project, and then they <laughs> they wanted you dead. They can go here. I think I'm so, done. That's yeah, so. you're not. Whew. Oh, I've Good smoked job. a lot of darts, and that son of a bitch there. I, oh. Hard day. Eh? Oh, that was hard day. Have a drink of beer. <laughs> yeah. Those are strong. Like they smelled like like a burning factory of some kind. You know, like a, like a burning like a, tire pile. Like really. A plane crash. Yeah. You know? I'm speechless. Yeah. Yeah. So that was uh That was wow. uh good job. Uh yes. Kudos, good. Cheer, good cheers to that. You uh cheers to those, man. Cheers. You guys got what a great choice. You're next. You're up. You're up. <laughs> Your wow. pick. So what's the game? You gotta pick a worse one or a better one than his? Well, wow, I'd hope not worse. I mean fuck. Well it's up to you. Have a it's, his play. it's his play. <laughs> oh yeah, okay. It's, it's Here we go. Yeah. Oh Jesus. Right now it's still zero zero. <laughs> 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 uh, those just came. Oh fuck. Look at that. Ten cigarettes. Well, if we're going to open a new pack, smoke, what are we... What's we oh, about look at the these, oh. eh? Wow. Whoa, those are fucking rough looking. <laughs> yeah, all right. Let's get a close up. Go up in flames. They're staining here. I mean... Nice choice. Oh, what would Van Breckel do? WWVBD. <laughs> I like that they're just flat, like somebody's been sitting on these for 20 years. I uh, no, I, I kind of immediately them. regret this decision. This is empty. Yeah, well, wow, we uh, picked some rough ones today. It's today's matches. Dust. <laughs> <laughs> we just like ripped all the fucking spark pack off. Oh, they're pretty soft. Those were in one of the cars. Ah. Uh, <laughs> those are fuck. Yeah, well, those are good. Those are really classics. Whoa, look at that light. Whoa. Oh, it's Whoa. delicious. Oh, I've never had a better cigarette. Oh, oh. This is what so good should be oh. like. It's it's not it's not as harsh. But it's not as not as good or bad. It's like mountain air. Like a brisk breeze. I like this. Standing on a Colorado mountaintop. In prison. It's got a number on it. Does yours have a serial In the number? Does yours have a serial number? Look. It's just about to burn off. 92F. What was oh, yours? Oh yeah, I did. I don't know. It's 92F. These are pretty uh, fragrant from a passenger point of view. Oh shit, yeah. I'm uh, getting a headache. <laughs> <laughs> uh, shit. Remember kids, <laughs> smoke you want to smoke? Man, oh. it's harsh oh. in here. Oh. I got oh. secondhand cancer already. Yeah, that's all right. Not you take good. either one? Yeah, it wasn't good, but it was a smoke. You know what used to drive me nuts? Like, I used to smoke export greens all the time. Right. Yeah. And people would be like, hey man, can I have a cigarette? And you'd fucking offer them one and be like, oh, export greens. Oh yeah, people who it's like, get fussy about cigarettes. Yeah. yeah. You're borrowing. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. You're getting a free dart. Getting free darts. And they're like, oh. Yeah, that's bullshit. Dart. Yeah, so any yeah. free dart's a good dart. I mean, we just had two free darts. That's the way I look yeah. at it. That's why this is worth uh, doing. Uh, <laughs> that's right. That's <laughs> real like, it's like, I come here because I get some free darts. 
I smoke a few of my own, which I would have anyways, but then I get some free ones. Get some free ones, it'll do. So like, you know, up the up the daily intake of cigarettes today. For no yeah. extra for cost. For no extra cost to me. Yeah. And get to fuck around with some old ashtrays right. and tires and tins with sweet accident damage. Like that is overly stretched. That's a nice thing. Right? This would have been the cigarette girl going down the going down the aisle. Cigarettes? Yeah, it's light. Some light it's crash damage. Plane, yeah. yeah. By appointment of Her Majesty. By appointment of Her Majesty. Mm -hmm. like it's just like anything that's worth having has the fucking stamp on it, you know? <laughs> that's a nice yeah. tin. And this is a pretty vintage Du Maurier. What do we figure? Oh, mid 60s. 60s? Yeah. 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 What does the it distinguished say? It well. cigarette throughout the world. That doesn't read well to me. There's a dash. That's why I paused. Oh. There's a dash. That's still. Well, they don't use it anymore. Well, thank God. <laughs> they wouldn't be allowed to if they did. No phrases allowed anymore. You can't use four syllable words anymore. You guys may have noticed how much better the set keeps getting here. Yeah, this the tires is, keep uh, showing up. Fuck remember yeah. Remember in the last episode yeah. of Classic Darts where you said send tire ashtrays? Yeah. This yeah. is what we needed. We needed some more tire space. Look at all the ones we previously we had full. are full. We're, we're full up. Full up. Well, that's four full. Four started. Wow. We've doubled inventory here. This is sweet. And this one's blue. I like it. Amazing. Amazing donations. Just thank Never you guys. Never seen a blue tire. Not even on a bicycle. That's really cool. What country is that from? Czechoslovakia. You think they use blue tires on all their cars there? Maybe. And since this is a working museum, they're all getting cigarettes smashed out in them. Oh yeah, for sure. Like these museum pieces have to earn their. Yeah, that, that's the best kind of museum piece. Like, yeah, where's that special thing? Okay. Like, like the glimpse that I just saw. I know. You know, that's enough. We know glimpse. something's going on. We opened this uh, ahead of time because I didn't know it was in the box, but Virginia darts <laughs> on the mini. Yeah. Well, That'd be if you good. put it on the mini, that would be fucking awesome. But that looks pretty amazing there. What a nice thing. <laughs> a really nice thing. Thanks, Greasy Cat. Ruth Bridgers. She got it personalized from her friend at the DMV. Right? She snuck that in. That's why it's cool. That's wicked. Right? Yeah, yeah that's sweet. Way to go, Ruth. Yeah, yeah that's nice. like not novelty mall thing. That's like... Yeah. That's, that's like, like a legit that's plate. Like, that's yeah. a car show plate. That's what that is. Yeah. That's, that's a that's plate for at awesome. the car show. Yeah. That's sweet. Get pulled over with a plate that says sample. <laughs> no, 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 I don't know. No, that's I'm what they gave know. me. <laughs> it's the one I've been using. I don't know. I've it's on a, my car, I've isn't had it? I've that plate since 1989. Yeah. About this car new. <clears throat> what happened to Dean? I don't know. He disappeared. Where's Frankers? I don't know. She disappeared. <laughs> I don't blame Easier. either of them. Those darts were Those harsh. Those are harsh, yeah. What else did we get? We got Hedges more lighters. Yeah. We got more lighters. I love the Aladdin lamp one. That's, <laughs> That's hell. Uh, it's insanity. I think like, this one's new. It's nice. Yeah. Oh, this one I remember. It fits in your hand good. Yeah, this I would make a great shifter one. for your car. <laughs> These ones are from Tom. This one's nice. The little castle. Like that. It's like the Chrysler Newport emblem, kind of. Oh, it's from Japan. Let me stand those up. There oh, they look better laying down. I'm just going to get a button. I'm just going to do just get a down face and show it on the table. You always Line do the side sweep. sweep. Do it the down face. Yeah, it's, it's always a side sweep. Give the people what they want. Give the people a great yeah, shot. Uh, yeah, exactly. Okay. <laughs> all right, we'll do a great shot. Fuck it. Fuck it. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, this is uh, used, said. yeah. It was like, that was my field finds. I was Classy. gonna see what you guys thought. Nice stuff. Nice, nice stuff. <laughs> <laughs> That's what I think. That's Al, he's always putting the Players. extra work into Players. the show. He's got the vision. Want me to do really. another take? That's what he's always saying. Yeah, yeah. Oh, come on. You wanna put this back into that again?
Those got here's something for classic darts. It is a cigarette case. Oh fuck! Yeah. This is made in occupied Japan in the late 1940s. I yes. hope that you and the agents enjoy it best, Dan D Doyle. Fuck yeah, Doyle. Oh, thanks, this. Dan. Let's Thank have you. a looky. Oh, are you kidding me? Look at this. This is awesome. So put a couple of small corner, I guess. Oh, 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 this okay. is awesome. Get a dart in it. <laughs> Get a couple in there, yeah. Let's see it's what gotta happens. be, yeah, like that. Filter. Yeah, oh, oh no. Way. King size are too big. Shit. Oh, I didn't get a grab into those crusty old trees. They'll just crumble. Let's or, see. This is a real test run for it. <laughs> this is a real world thing. Uh, it works. Done. That is excellent. Thanks, little man. Fuck that yeah. Is awesome. That is so cool. Thank you, Occupied Japan. It's wonderful. We gotta keep that full. This is cool. It's part of the rider now. Yeah. Oh, what a great way to pick random darts and serve <laughs> them up, eh? Yeah. Oh, pick yeah. Some darts darts the, and then And it makes such a, a cool bit. sound, too. It's oh, just yeah. like. Da -da -da -da. Ding! That's a great idea. Ding, death. <laughs> that thing is sweet. Mm hmm. Look at the work on it, it's so fucking fine. Very Like detailed. look at that checkerboard. It's so small. That's crazy. They had a lot of time on their hands. Is that for real? Yeah. Is that actually inlaid or oh, just yeah. painted? That's inlay. Oh my god. Yeah, it's tiny inlay. Wow. You know, you couldn't show people how to draw a picture of this anymore and people would just make this stuff. <laughs> oh, he's round. And it's got eye. little metal arms so that it can fucking yeah. hold his stuff better. <laughs> <laughs> that thing is cool. We will keep it and we will keep it full. And we'll play it from time to time. And we'll play darts through that. That's a great idea for a game. I love it. I like this kind of shit. It's just like that one my grandpa had with the dog. Do the sound the again. The sound is the greatest part of this. Right. One. Like, how do they make it make such a great sound? Oh, that's supposed to be the sound of a piano. Do it slowly. Yeah. Right? Yeah. It's Hello My Baby. No, just Made in Occupy Japan. From yeah. now on, anything I make, I'm going to write that on it. Even right if you just fix it? Yeah. Man, <laughs> fix it, Occupy Japan. Anything that crosses your path. Yeah. Yeah, I like that. Japan. Yeah, I'm gonna start doing extremely educated inlays. That's my simple. vacuum cleaner done yet? Yeah. No. I'm just doing <laughs> inlay just on the top. Yeah, six, eight, eight more, more weeks. Six weeks. Yeah. <laughs> you know, I, I I fucking encourage that too. If you want to make up wild stories, do it. Send them in. <laughs> Your video has been labeled Send misinformation. Yeah. <laughs> Bullshit at eleven. Yeah. Oh man. Oh, did we see the Daily Beater ones that showed up? Well, we kind of skipped over those. Some donations from Jim's 64 Galaxy came in. McDonald Menthol. The These McDonald's. are all like 70s. Pretty They're cool. Awesome. Late 70s. Very nice uh, finds there. Some classic darts. Oh, look what else I found. Oh. Hey. More tin. Yeah, more tin. I found look another the, sports. Look at the damage oh, on it's that nice. Fucker. It's got some nice damage We're off. I'm going to put the damage to the back or the front. Oh, there you go. Here's another one. Prop that end up with the sportsman here. Uh -huh. Here at Classic Darts, we always like to go Always out. improving the, the show. Nothing but the a... best set for the worst okay. show on the planet. These need to fuck off. They're not mainstream. Yeah, it's not like mom and pop yeah, stuff. Yeah. Yeah. It's not, it's not oh, relatable yeah. content. <laughs> <laughs> French cigarettes, what? Maybe one person. Come on. In the corner. In the corner with you. Wait a There's second. A French star right behind. <laughs> we may be onto something why nobody good. watches the show. That's why I'm the set design guy. Because I got a knack for it.
a regular ah, contributor. Same old shit. Yeah. 